Hey, everybody's. Thought I'd come on today and remind everybody about the Diamond Grandma birthday giveaway because it's coming to an end on is it Wednesday? How many days are in November? Yeah, Wednesday. I have to stop and think how many days are in November. Um, so if you haven't already, you need to go and reply to the Friday Whip and Chat, which I've already got the ones that have replied into the wheel that I'm going to spin on Wednesday. So... Hang on just a second. I need to take a drink and get take my pills because, you know, it's almost one o'clock. And, you know, if I don't take my pills, I get in trouble. So, um, but I've got everybody that's replied all to at this point in the wheel that I'll spin on Wednesday. I think I just said that already. But if you have not replied, you need to go to the Friday Whip and Chat and reply to that one with hashtag DGBirthday22. Um, and that'll get you entered into my part of the giveaway for Diamond Grandma's birthday, which is the 30th. So make sure you go and wish her a happy birthday on the 30th. Now, you have to be subscribed to both mine and her channel. And then... She's got a giveaway as well. And I think her hashtag is... Um, hashtag... 50? 50? I'm not sure. She said in one of her videos, and I can't remember which one it was. So... Okay, pills are taken. Drink is taken. But I thought I'd do a little whip and chat. Not that I have a whole lot to say. My sister downstairs is sick, so any good vibes and prayers for her would be appreciated. She had this a stuffy on <clears throat> Thursday. She sounded stuffy and then woke up. Friday, Saturday. I don't know what day. She didn't feel good. This is the third day, I guess, she didn't feel good. So, still working on my landscape. I am, it's all covered in stuff. But I am on the third strip, fourth section. So, oh, didn't mean to jerk you like that. Sorry. It's still trees and mountains and stuff. But it's still looking good. This section went really fast because I could I checkerboarded it and it it went pretty quick. So but yeah. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot because it's been dreary and rainy here, which has made me hurt, and that's been bad the last few days, so I just want to sit here and do this, and at times I don't even want to do this, I just want to lean back and not hurt, so... Because my back is bad. Because I, I tripped. I got my foot stuck the other day under a rug. I don't know if I told you guys that. And kind of tripped and wrenched my back. So that's still sore. 
and that the dreary weather has not helped that. So, but I have doctor appointments in December. It's like a you know they all came up all at once. It's like I've got got to go see the rheumatologist. I have to go see my primary care doctor. I have to go see the eye doctor. To go see the pain doctor. And I have to go see the um, the orthopedic surgeon for a recheck on my knee. And all of them. Hmm. Seems like they all just, it's like, I've got, I don't have one of them in my phone, I don't think. Pardon me while I check, because, yeah, I don't have that one in my phone. I should have that one in my phone. I don't know why it's not in my phone. It should be. Did I see him last? Maddie, shush. <laughs> That's why I put it in here in the wrong date. I put it in January. That's not the 23rd. That's because that's the when that appointment is. Sorry, guys, I got sidetracked. That appointment's not until January, so I don't see the pain clinic until January. I can just drive myself crazy sometimes. Anyway, I have appointments like crazy next month. I have one on the 7th, I have one on the 20th, I have one on the 22nd. Is that it? Rheumatologist, <coughs> eye doctor, primary care. Oh, and the 13th. Okay, I'm good. I've got it figured out. Maddie, we don't need to hear from the peanut gallery today. So now that I've got my doctor appointment scheduled, figured out, and y'all know when I'm going and you can remind me, because Lord knows my brain doesn't work. Um, so yeah, got that figured out. Um, so I have doctor appointments that I have to go to, because I needed my two of my prescriptions refilled. And I called and they said, okay, yeah, they'll refill them this month. But since I haven't seen her since May, I have to go in and see her. You may see smoke. I am not on fire. Please do not call 911. So, yeah. Um... So there's that. How is everybody? I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Mine was very quiet because I, my nephews had, were sick, so I couldn't go to Thanksgiving. But they sent me home a plate, which was very nice of them. I had a very nice 
Thanksgiving dinner. I actually ate it on Friday, so. Maddie, shush. But it was still very good. The turkey was wonderful and had spetzla and stuffing and rolls. I don't know what's called up her butt today. She's just decided to bark at the door. Mama Kate's not coming. She's not coming. She doesn't feel good. So, that's what I just said. She doesn't feel good. So, yeah, we have the peanut gallery going off over there. I'm right here. I'm right here. Anyway, <laughs> there's people in the hallway. So, I hope you all had a really good Thanksgiving. And then I had a good one. I've got Christmas is already shopped. I did my Christmas cards today. I've got one I need to mail, which, and I have just enough that I had one left over. Two left over. Whoa. Earthquake. Sorry, guys. I had two left over, which is just enough so that I can mail one and have one left over in case I need it. Because we have two apartments empty. If, if the apartments that are empty were not empty, I would have had just enough for the apartment buildings. Would you please knock it off? Go lay down. Sometimes I wonder what that dog thinks. I'm trying to figure out what color's next. Did you guys notice I had just enough drills in my tray to fin finish that color out? I couldn't do that again if I tried. This is that funky little L thing with the dot in the middle. There it is, it's 23. So, it's part of the sky. So, got all my Christmas done. My shopping is done. I'm waiting on one thing to come in, which I don't know if I'm going to wait for Christmas to give that to her or give it to her early because she sits by the window and it's cold by the window and it's, this is something to keep her warm. So, the only thing I have to buy is a new dog bed for Maddie, which I buy her a new dog bed every year for Christmas. I poured out way more than those, those that I need, I think. Because most of those are up under that. I don't think there's any of those down here. In the story of my life, I always pour out more than I need. So... Anyway, um, who else got Christmas shopping done? Who all bought something for on Black Friday for from the diamond painting companies? I only bought one thing. 
and I really, you know, really wasn't going to buy anything, but Diamond Art Club had one canvas that I, I wanted to get to make for my sister downstairs. They had two things, but one of them is not, wasn't from the new releases. And I didn't know if that was a limited edition. I didn't look. So, the other one will probably be around for a while because it's a horoscope thing. So, I figured I would be okay if I skipped on it for a while. Plus, I have lots of things to do for my sister in Springfield. I'm going to pause you guys for just a second and get you situated a little better so that I can get better situated here, too. Hang on. Okay. I think that's better. Now I can see better what I'm doing. Because I was leaning back too far. So. What else is going on here? We had the lighting of the Christmas tree here and they shoot off fireworks every year and I forget every year and I'm like why are they, you know who'd have thunk fireworks for Thanksgiving And because it always freaks Maddie out and my sister downstairs always reminds me, oh they did the tree and I'm like oh right, forgot so this is a reminder take my pills I told him to skip that reminder, but he forgot. This is a reminder. So, because I I'll already did pills. that. So, trust me, fibromyalgia sucks. Because you forget everything. Including the silly little things like taking pills in the middle of the day. So if I didn't set a reminder, I would forget. And I have reminders for everything. Including on my phone. If my phone is close enough to that, anyway. I'm, I don't know, sometimes it sends them when I'm out. But if I'm out, I'm not close enough to where my pills are. My pills are here at home. So, anyway. I'm rambling at you again. What else is new? I do that a lot, don't I? So... So they lit the Christmas tree. I didn't go out to watch the fireworks because I forgot about the fireworks. I do that every year. Don't care about that. Uh, care about that. Sometimes I want to throw my phone so far away just so I don't have to listen to it and don't have to worry about it. You wonder what we did before we had cell phones and then, you know, I also wonder, you know, why I ever got a cell phone. I didn't have one for years when everybody else had one. And it was fine. I did fine with that one. And there are times when I walk off and leave it here. I go downstairs without it. Heck, the other day I went to Walmart to pick up my order without it. Of course, that kind of wound up being a bust because I couldn't check in. And then they said they checked me in. I waited an hour and a half and finally asked somebody and they're like oh well we're running behind we haven't pictures yet I'm like um why not you know I had had a slot from I think 5 30 to 5 to 6 and this was at 6 30 I'm like well it'll be another hour and I'm like no I gotta get home so I just canceled the order and came home I could have gone in and shopped it three times by the time 
so I just, I was a little perturbed. But my fault for forgetting my phone. But, you know, I got there at 5 and they still hadn't picked my order, which, you know, usually by the time I get there they've picked it, so... Neither here nor there. I hate going in the store. And even when it's not holiday season, I won't go in now. I, I did my order the other day. Picked it up on Black Friday. It's like, I'm not going in that store. Ain't no way. And they didn't really need anything but soda and bread. I didn't really need soda. I need to back, go back to drinking water. I'm bad about drinking water. I should stop drinking soda again. But I like my bu I like my bubbles. So, but I hate shopping at Walmart. There's just it's too peopley inside. There's just too many people. Even even when it's not holiday season, there's too many people in there. I am happier staying in my little house and in my little apartment and not going anywhere. Not seeing people, not dealing with them, just staying inside and not having to deal with, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love you guys. And if I met you, it would be fantastic. But I don't do crowds. At all. I never have. I mean, even my own family reunion, I don't do well. Because there's too many people. I do do well with one or two people. And that's about it. There were five people in my family, and that was too many. I'd been fine if I'd been an only child. By the time my brother and sister moved out, it was you know, three was great. Three was fantastic. So, but I was not an only child. I was the youngest of three. Oops, almost missed that one. one there so but I don't know what what makes me so nervous around crowds but I get very anxious and nervous and jerky so I just I can be you know around people I just don't like it I don't like it very much usually if I have to go to if I have to go in Walmart I take my sis sister with me it's, she keeps me calm 35 I usually stay close to her. We get separated on occasion, but I know she's there, which helps. So. So. I just realized this is doing the wrong aspect it should be sideways but it's not oh well anyway so I don't have much more to say just 
wanted to remind you to, to make sure you get your entries in on the Friday Whip and Chat. So that you can get entered into the drawing. And I will check it again. Make sure I've got all the names in the drawing. So that, you know, everybody's got a fair shot at it. So, you know, make sure you go to the Friday Whip and Chat and enter. And then, you know, to enter, it's hashtag DGBirthday22. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel and to Diamond Grandma's channel. And that's pretty much all I've got for you today. So... I will let you get back to your regularly scheduled programs. Scheduled. I can talk. So, I will sign off for now. And I will talk at you in the next one. And the next one will probably be for the drawing. On Wednesday. So, I'll talk at you then. Love you guys. Give me a like if you can. Bye, everybody's.